Hi hey friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today we will see how to install certificate and uh, how to export certificate. It is very easy in Windows 10. So we will go um, open MMC. For MMC, go to run. Yeah, just to type MMC. The console will open. This is a Microsoft Management Console. Click file. Go to add and remove snap in. Click certificate. Click add. And here you can choose uh, if you want to install certificate for uh, your user account or service account or computer account. I'm choosing computer account. So here choose local computer. Click finish. Click OK. This is the uh, default certificate page. So here you can see uh, personal. Normally, after installing your certificates, it will uh, appear here. This is a uh, root certificate, a trusted root certificate authority. Some of the certificates you need to uh, install trusted root certificate. If you are using a third party certificate, uh, no need to uh, install separate trusted root certificate. By default, all uh, certificates will be here in uh, Windows machines. If you are using any um, specific company related uh, internal certificate, then you need to get uh, two certificates. One certificate for um, normally installing the personal, another one for uh, trusted root certificate. Then only it will be valid. Otherwise, it will show certificate is not trusted. Okay, so I have one uh, uh, test PFX file. I will show you how to import. Right click personal, click uh, all task, click import. Here you have to choose uh, PFX or uh, uh, P7B certificate or SST. So it will support. So I have one uh, test PFX. This is uh, a test PFX. It's ready now. It is in desktop. So I'm going desktop. Uh, you select by default, it will be X.509 certificate. If you are using um, PFX, you have to select. Uh, PFX, otherwise it will not appear here. So you can select all files also. It will show every every all formats. So I'm using a PFX. So I'm selecting PFX. Select PFX. Click next. So password you can get from uh, certificate authority while exporting. Uh, uh, while exporting the certificate, uh, so that time they will set the password. So you can get a uh, certificate with that password. Select mark key as exportable. Click next. Click next and finish. The input was successful. So click OK. Now you can uh, see your certificates here. So this is a test certificate. So from here you can uh, export also you can export and you can share with the uh, other uh, machines so you can export if you want to import you can use here if you want to export you can go to inside certificate right click and uh, select all task and click export so you can export uh, your certificate to share with others is export the private key that option click next the default uh, you can see that pfx will be there just click next here we can set the password so you can set the password click next the location choose the location i'm choosing the same location That's it. 
so location also selected click next that's it so it's completing the certificate export uh, wizard click finish the export was successful that's it so like this you have to export and import your certificate so it will um, uh, rectify your uh, certificate errors in the websites so if you are facing any certificate error or uh, any uh, trusted uh, error you can um, get the certificate from the uh, website owner or uh, website company you can install that certificate like this thank you friends thanks for watching this video